Hello. Vlog number two. Um, I did done a vlog yesterday, but I was uh, I was marched to bed by Daryl. Marched me to bed because I wasn't very well. I um I went to the play centre with two of my friends, and I kept on having funny turns. Um, kept on getting really bad pains, and really just crappy feeling. Uh, so I got home from them. Daryl gave me some painkillers, made me a cup of tea, sent me to bed. Um, I didn't do a vlog yesterday, so I've done one today. But even though today it's late, got up this morning after very little sleep that I had last night. Um, could barely walk. Can't even put my foot from my left hip straight on the floor anymore. Um, Turns out, I've got a um, a bladder infection after my op the other day. Mm. Apparently it's quite common. I didn't know that. I knew it could happen. Didn't know it was common. So, uh, I've been feeling quite ill with that. So I've been in A&E today. Well, out of hours. Um, sorting that out. I've been put on three, quite a lot, looking at them now. Different tablets to try and kill the infection. Um, the doctor was lovely. He really was. Um, he was quite concerned. He wanted to... Sorry, I'm not being rude. I'm just trying to pick out the big crisps. Um, he wanted to admit me, basically. And... Um, I didn't want that. I don't want to be admitted to hospital. I don't want to let my family down. And um, today I feel like I have. You know, I've had to call my father-in-law over to watch the girls. Um, I've had to, Daryl's take me up to a and and sit with me for ages while I've been wincing in pain. You know, it has had me in tears today. Um, that's just been horrendous. Um, so, but, um, something really nice happened today. Well, I'm going to say who it is because I feel like she needs a little bit of a shout out. My next door neighbour but one, Sham. Nice you are. Turned up at my house while I was in hospital with a bottle of wine. <sighs> Can't drink it yet. But it goes with uh, all the rest of the wines that I'm going to have stored up, ready for when I'm better. Maltesers. Oh, you can't be. I love Maltesers. And a card, a get well soon card. And just thank you. Just thank you so much. Little things like that, they mean the world to me. The they, little, little, just little surprises like that, they just absolutely cheer me up. Something rotten. I know before anybody goes, oh, she's hinting. No, I'm not. Little surprises like that are nice. Anyone can say that. Um, I've made an email address. I'm going to put it in the box underneath in a bit. I've had someone, I know I said in yesterday's blog that I was going to let you request me on Instagram, but I've been thinking about it. I, I, as much as I'm trying to be kind now, there is people out there that I don't know that might want to follow me on Instagram to follow my story, but I don't know them. And I've got hundreds of pictures of my children on my Instagram. You know, so I, I won't be accepting any uh, requests on Instagram from people I don't know. I'm really sorry. I'm quite protective of my children. Quite very protective of my children if I'm to be um, oh, I'm sorry I haven't gotten hits it's just um, I'm slightly allergic to opiates and morphine just happens to be one of the ones I can cope with if I'm given anti-itch medicine which I've got 
anyway, um, yeah, so I've made an email address, so you can email that. I might make a like page on Facebook that you can come and like me on and talk to me through that. But once again, if I don't know you, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be adding you on Facebook. Um, you can always message me on Facebook. Mm, yeah, not a problem with that at all. I won't be adding people I don't really know. I've added a couple of people. But that's because they've been people who've gone through cancer as well. And they, um, they're they giving me advice and helping me. Um, there's one thing that people keep on saying, and it's bugging me. People keep on saying I'm, in, I'm an inspiration for what I'm doing. Please, I, I'm not. An inspiration is somebody who helps thousands of people. I'm just an everyday woman battling cancer and I just want people to know my story. So, um, if say now one day, five years down the line, a young girl is going through exactly the same and she thinks, I'm gonna take to YouTube, see if I can see anything. She comes along my stories I'm going to be putting enough stories up here to um, to be able to help someone like that, really. You know, like today, um, I've explained today was a really bad day. There was hospital. There was, oh, God, playing, playing with my hips. It was horrendous today. Bloody hell, I thought my belly was going to pop in the middle from that pain. But... You know, stuff like that. But I'm not an inspiration. I don't see I am. I don't see how I am. But I'm just an everyday woman showing people how much of an idiot she was for not going for her smear. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, you know, I'm going to get my low days. I'm going to get my happy days. Today is a pretty happy day. I feel it is. Um... I've not been eating too well though. You know, I'm having crisps and uh, stuff like that now. I'm probably going to be in bed for the rest of the day. Marching orders to go to bed by my partner. <laughs> oh well. At least get to watch the telly in bed in a bit. Um, yeah. Um, there's something else I want to say as well. A couple of my friends. Um, I was talking to one of them earlier. She was saying, like, she's sorry for messaging me about her problems with certain individuals. No one ever be sorry for bringing your problems to me. If I'm someone you feel comfortable in talking to, then talk to me. Um, I don't want the fact that I've got cancer to get in the way of me trying to help my friends. Um, you know, my friends are my world. You know, I love all my friends, especially my close group of friends. I love you guys so much, you know. Um, one of them this morning put something up on Snapchat, so I, tech I, I, I messaged, you'll know who you are. And I still, I mean what I said, I've got cancer, so what? It's not the end of the world, it happens, I'll still be here for you. Ever need a shoulder to cry on, ever need anyone to rant to, if I've got the energy, go for a walk. I've got a pram, I can lean on that. Or we'll go for a panad. And you rant your little heart away, because that's what friends do, cancer or not. I'm not going to let cancer get in the way of me and my friends. It's already got in, in the way of me and my bloody food. It's not getting in the way of me and my friends. You know, I love you guys and I'll always be there for you. Regardless of what happens, how ill I might get. Um, but yeah, you know. Like, don't, don't, don't be scared to come to me and say, oh, Natalie, you feel like the only person I can talk to. Well, if that's the case, 
then talk to me. You know, I, I don't care if it's one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. Nowadays, I'm awake then and I'm happy for the company. Just give me a text, Natalie, I need a bit of advice. I'll always be there. And if I am flat out sleeping, catching flies, I'll message you back as I wake up. But that's all I think I've got to say for today. I think. I can hear in the night garden playing downstairs in my front room. My daughter loves in the night garden. I'm about to put the telly on now and find out. I'm not going to watch in the night garden. I'm just going to see what time it is. But hands up, girls, come on. Right. Hands up, who watches the CBB's bedtime story just to watch Tom Hardy? Shaz Matthews, I know you're one of them. Chelsea, Stacey, I know you're one of them as well. Oh, I do. Oh. Taboo, I'm actually going to watch Taboo from start to finish again just so I can watch it. I can watch him. Oh, Mr. Delaney. You make my knees a shudder. So, I hope my little blog has given a couple of you a little bit of a smile, a little bit of a chuckle today. Especially with my little... Oh, Mr. Delaney. Come on. Who doesn't have Tom Hardy make their legs go to jelly? But all of you jealous, I'm going to make you jealous now. My boyfriend looks slightly like him. Not completely like him, but, you know, hair, beard, rugged, sexy. I say my boyfriend, he's actually my fiancé. Oh, you keep on forgetting that. He is my fiancé. We got engaged. My ring, sorry. We got engaged on his 30th. He proposed to me on, on his 30th. I want to get married as soon as his cancer's gone, and so does he. And then he says, I can uh, possibly have a kitten afterwards. Oh, I can't wait. But yeah, um, so please, uh, when I upload this onto Facebook, please give it a like and a share. Whoop. And uh, let's get this not viral. I'm not. I'm not fickle, I'm not vain, I don't want it to be viral, but I want it to hit quite a few people. Not hit physically, you know what I mean? Um, I want it to get to people so they know to have their smears. So, for now, I hope you all have a good Sunday evening. I hope you all have a brilliant first day of summer holidays. Yay! First Monday of the summer holidays. So, enjoy the beginning, first week of some holidays. Remember, family is everything, and you never know what's around the corner. So live, love, laugh, spend as much time as you can with your family, and do them three things. Natalie out. <laughs>